Hi, Chuck Cashman here, Chief Revenue Officer of the REMAX. Standing on the new ASMIT 32 metri, 32 meter ASMIT, debuting in North America right now today. This boat is phenomenal. We're at the Miami International Yacht Show, downtown Miami. And I'm gonna take you through five really quick areas that I think are special standout areas on this boat. We could, we could do an hour long segment on this thing. We're gonna hit five real quick, but I tell you before we go too far, I'm gonna show you a couple things that kind of set the tone for the size and scale of this yacht. Just look at the ground tackle here. So it's got uh, dual anchors and windlasses, but every time I come on a big boat and I see the, uh, the machinery to tie and the size of the cleats to tie these boats up, it just it kind of sets the tone that you know you're you're not on a boat anymore this is a you're on a yacht and this is a, this is awesome so really one of the first areas for me and it's so appropriate that we're in miami because this to me looks like a nikki beach looks like a south beach miami cabana and there's there's sunshades that come up there's umbrellas that come out all of these cushions configure individually so you could have backrest you can have face-to-face -face dining there's a little table. The crew's going to serve you out here because this is a boat that's going to carry crew, and you are going to feel like you're in another world. It's it's South Beach, San Tropez, but you control 100% of it because you're on your own boat. So, uh, to me, this is a very very special area on a pretty special boat where you get out here, and uh, if you like the sun, you're in the sun. Don't put the shades up. If you're uh, if you're kind of like me, you live in Florida, you get enough sun in your life, then put some of these sun sails up and it's magnificent, but we're, we're showing it when it down, and, uh, and it's just, a, it's an incredible area. You've got 30 feet of, 30 feet of cushion, surrounded by teak, very comfortable. It's also, as you're running, I think it's one of the, uh, one of the nicest places to sit on a boat while you're running is, uh, is right here, and uh, it's extremely comfortable. This is the battling fabric that, uh, wears incredibly well but it's uh, super cool to the touch and it uh, it feels in line with the caliber of the yacht so you'll uh, you won't make any apologies for where your guests are sitting or what they're sitting on well let's head on back and we'll look at some of the other amazing features on this wonderful boat as you get to this you'll see it's got a uh, really sturdy handrails the the dimension of the of the stainless this is a this gives you a really strong high enough handhold without taking away from the visual of the boat it's all lighted you get out here at night you turn the lights on there's there's a light every four or five feet lighted stairs coming up big good handrails everywhere you are right. so we're going to go forward this boat has an on-deck master. That's also one of the uh, one of the key features on this boat, in my opinion. Very, very popular today. When you get a little more length, it's easy enough. You could put a boat. You can put a uh, on-deck master. One very nice thing about this is the on-deck master. The head, you know, the the master bath, if you will, is on the same level. Many boats could get an on-deck master, but you would walk down the stairs. And a lot of our owners said they don't like going up and down stairs in the middle of the night. So having this be level, easy to walk into, is very, very nice. And if you look at it, this boat, is. we'll talk a little bit about it. It's an Achille Silvani design. He's a very famous, world-renowned Italian designer, not only of boats, but of buildings and architecture, and some very unique, but uh, extremely well-received. There's a, there's a basket for some of your, uh, your toiletries or towels, whatever you prefer, but you could see the theme throughout with these freestanding leather-wrapped baskets. That's a very traditional Achille Silvani. The other thing that you'll see is it, there, you really never see two ends terminate. You get a lot of radiuses. And as you sit in the boat after a while, and we'll, I'll show you some of the features in the master stateroom, you really don't get any corners, any sharp edges. You get to, you get to the corner of the boat and a radius, and it's a, uh, they call it zen. I mean, it, it, it's funny how 
without the harsh corners, it does give you this feeling, this flow that just makes you feel a little different. But you'll see it in all the end tables. Instead of a square, it's radius. It's a lot of extra work to do. Even the pulls. Very unique self-closing drawers. And he's a uh, he uses bold colors. So you see uh, you see the night light here. The reading light is uh, is blue. And as you get to know, and this is a gentleman that's written books. So you could actually go online, pick up one of his books, and understand a little bit more about what he does and how he does it but uh the use of bold colors and muted colors not only not only the hard design but the use of color and texture it's really it's really been a uh, an education learning a little bit about it so this is one of many closets you've got good hanging lockers you've got storage lighted vanity here and on our way out i will uh i'll show you a couple other fabulous closets that uh for the owner of this boat they're gonna they're gonna go out you know this is this is a boat that you could in in, in our world in the miami world you could go into the bahamas for a couple months never come back so you have the everything you need is on the boat so you'll bring you'll bring a fair amount of clothes and supplies but you've got a wonderful closet here and then your main closet we're going to see in a second is behind me get the, get the light on safe pretty typical storage hanging locker more shelves this is uh, this would be similar to closet spaces in a lot of homes so being fantastic master we'll walk through the salon and we'll see some of the usage of colors. This is something I really, really love. And I wish we had time to go through every single thing. But the uh, backlit onyx steps. You see this at night. It is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful in the daylight. It's even better at night. And that, go, that goes up to the pilot house. Because it's a raised pilot house. And then this will take you down to the other staterooms. Which I'm telling you are phenomenal by their own right. We just we don't have enough time to hit everything. Another one of my favorite areas of the boat, boating's about family. And at the end of the day, you bring your family in here, you have a wonderful meal. The galley is, it's an enclosed galley. It's off to the side. Again, this is a boat that's typically gonna have a, uh, a good size crew on it. Crew's gonna, crew's gonna cook, crew's gonna serve you. You know, it's not, uh, it's not uh, you know, mom and, mom and myself whipping up spaghetti. You're, the, the crew is doing what they do. So, You'll sit here and have a formal, wonderful, but again, the rounded. It's not so much the head of the table, although we know where the, where the owner's going to sit. It's a, uh, it's a nice rounded table. And then the use of color. You know, these are, uh, to say that they're like a, a, a light muted pink velvet chair doesn't sound very exciting until you see it in the boat and it all kind of goes together. Drop down TV. These chairs are wonderful too. But again, here's all the radiuses as you start to work your way out the boat. Radius, radius, come over here. There's no termination, it kind of goes behind and then this radius comes out. There's a architectural feature here with some woven silk lining behind it. It's, a, it's kind of a really light pale moss green that ties in with the sofa, ties in with the chairs and it again it wouldn't be necessarily for everybody's taste although the, this is a sold boat and the people absolutely love it met with Achille and uh, and they understand what he's trying to accomplish so fabulous here let's go look at the bridge which I think is one of the uh, I like the bridge on any boat but I'll tell you this bridge is pretty special big wide steps as you come up Solid handholds everywhere. And again, so now you're keeping with the South Beach seam. You've got chairs that are modular. I like this. Instead of building in furniture, you get uh, these are these are made by an Italian manufacturer. They're they're beautifully crafted, but you can move them around. 
at the end of the day, if this isn't what you like, you can pick what, what you do like. But the sofas are built in. You know, you're, you'll sit 15, 18 people up here. Not that you'll boat with that many that often, but in a time where you'll have a, uh, I could imagine a christening party is going to have, you know, 50 to 100 people, and, and this boat will absorb it between the bow, the aft deck, the beach club, inside, the bridge. It's a, uh, it's just a phenomenal area. I've always liked these bar stools. They look like they would be so amazingly uncomfortable. However, when you sit in them, they are awesome. They really are. They, they're, they accomplish everything, but they're stylish and they don't take away. They're not so, they're not so overpowering that they take away from the, the flow and the look of the boat. Full bar up here. And then this is a nice thing. So it's a raised pilot house boat. So you have an enclosed uh, pilot house air conditioning enclosed, climate, you know, so you, if, it's a, if it's a bad day, you're, you're behind glass. But this also has an area up here where if it's a beautiful day, the captain can come up here, which the captain would really, more often than not, they're gonna drive from the pilot house because the captain on a boat of this pedigree is gonna, is gonna stay where they are. But this is, this is more for the owner. The owner likes to be out there with the wind in his hair. Sometimes he likes to sit next to the captain, ask a lot of questions. And, uh, you know, if you have that right captain, that's a nurturing kind of captain, you sit up here and you're getting your, you're getting your education on the systems and navigation and all the things that come along with boating. And it has some other forward facing seating, which is unique in a boat of this size. I think a lot of people really like to be on the bridge looking where they're going when you're running a boat. I think about the many, many times crossing to the Bahamas, as you're crossing, you don't see anything for a long time, but that first time you see the silhouette of the island, the first time you see land is always a cool time. At least I could tell you with my family, you know, we were always trying to be the first one to say, there it is. And uh, I think this boat accomplishes that pretty well. Some pretty unique cup holders here and there. But when you look to the back of the boat, you could easily have 25 people and they're just having the time of their life. Very social, very well thought out, very well designed. In the right time, seating for 12 out here. If you didn't want to eat down below formally in the dining room, you eat up here. Double grill in the back. Wet bars everywhere, just a uh, just a phenomenal, well thought out boat. And I tell you, I like what they're doing with some of the light switches. This is, uh, you know, you see a lot of buttons on boats. You don't always know what they are. Well, this tells me that this is the top. It goes left and it goes right. And uh, things like that that are well lit. They're light switches. They're not doing other things. Azimut's been building quality boats for so long that every boat not only is a new design, but it's an evolution of customer feedback that says, hey, you know, we, we had this and it, it'd be a little bit better if you did that, whatever that is, and Asma tries to do it. So we're, we're really pleased with the evolution of every model, this one included. All right, we're gonna walk back down to the beach club where we'll finish our tour. Some more of the tackle that we talk about. These are winches where they'll use it primarily if you're in Europe. They call it a med style mooring where you'll back in and they'll use this winch to kind of tighten the boat into the seawall. You'll get off on your passerelle. We don't use it as much in the US, but if you ever had to move the boat a couple feet, it sure is nice to think that all you have to do is uh, hit a button and that winch will pull this big old boat over. I'm trying. I'm on film right now. So this is the beach club. This is a very, very hot trend in boats that are big enough to have a beach club. And really what it means is you've got an area, you know, we call it closer to the sea. You're trying to get closer to the sea. So you've got seating. The crew's going to bring some more seating down here. You can put sunshades up. You can put umbrellas up chairs, bean bags, but the kids are jumping in and out of the water. You've got your water toys all around you. 
but instead of sitting up on the bridge now, you're, you can dangle your feet into the water. And this, this, you know, look, boating at the end of the day is about interaction and getting close to the water. So down here, as, as we're sitting in the sun, I tell you, I wish it was a, uh, I wish it was bathing suit weather and you jump in and, and relax. So it's a uh, excellent, excellent time. And that's a whirlwind tour. I realize that we didn't hit everything. And uh, if you reach out and give us some feedback, we'll touch on anything that you want to touch on. But uh, I wanted to go real quick, try to give you a, uh, a glimpse of some of the areas on this boat, and there's many more, but some of the areas on this boat that are really exciting to me. And uh, thanks for spending your time with us. Check us out at uh, marinemax.com or on YouTube and everywhere we are. And, uh, and on behalf of Marine Max, thanks for watching.